Hi, this is Jeff Ammons of Jeffa.Tech, and today I have a quick tip on how to work with JSON in Visual Studio. Let's grab a sample JSON object here on JSON.org. You can see it's a glossary object that's not terribly complex, but it would be a pain to create a set of c -sharp classes based on it. I've created a simple console app here for the demo. The first thing we want to do is install Newtonsoft's JSON.NET NuGet package if we don't already have it. Now let's go copy the JSON object sample into the clipboard. I've created a file to hold our object, so I'll just paste the JSON here. It's useless because it's pure JSON and not C-sharp, right? So let's undo this. This time we'll go up here to Edit, Paste Special, and then Paste JSON as Classes. And magic happens. We now have a set of C-sharp classes that represent our JSON object. Since the top level of the JSON wasn't named, Visual Studio gave it the generic name of root object. We don't really have a context for making up a real name, so I'll just call this glossary transfer object. Back in our main method, let's new up a glossary transfer object. I'll speed this up so you can see what I'm doing without waiting around while I type. Now that we have our object, let's just serialize it out to a string using Newtonsoft's JSON convert. I'll set a breakpoint here. Let's stick in a console read line down here so that the app will pause before exiting, and then I'll fire up the debugger. Now that we've stopped here, I'll open a quick watch on the GTO object. I'll open this up a bit so that we can see all the properties. Now we'll step over and take a look at the string content. That's great, but the JSON is just one long string. I'll go back over here and add a formatting.indented. I'll close this up here just to make some room so we can see it better. And there. I'll rerun it, and now the JSON is nicely formatted. You can put some logic in to format it for debugging, but leave it as one long string for production if that's what you like. Now I'm going to put the output side by side with the original JSON so that you can see that we wound up with something reasonable. That's it for this tip. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. This is Jeff from Jeff.Tech, and I'll see you next time.